What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Chronic Gamer. I am going to be continuing with my Death Stranding playthrough now. Um, as I said in the uh, previous video, I will be doing this off stream. So I will be recording this just normally. Um, so that's why you will not see me on camera during this playthrough, but you will hear my commentary as I play through it. Um, sorry for the poor audio in the last video. My microphone was a little far away from where I wanted it to be, um, but I have got a USB extender so that I can move my microphone closer. And uh, yeah, so now I can play from my bed and you can all hear me and it should be working fine, so uh, let me just... Okay, so here we go. Um, what were we supposed to be doing? I think we we're supposed to be examining this terminal here. Mail. Sorry, Sam. Bad news. Thanks for delivering those rare metals, Sam. Everyone at the Distro Center really appreciates you coming through for us. Thumbs up emoji. I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you, though. That bike you saw outside, its battery's dead. You'll have to give it some juice if you want to use it. Only need, only need to do it once, though. Auto charger should kick in after. Praying hands emoji. Sorry if we got your hopes up. I, uh, I've got some more bad news for you, too. Uh, whatever that is. I can't read it from this far away. I'm sitting on my bed as I'm recording this, so some of this writing is a little small from where I'm at, but oh well. Uh, you see different facilities have to work together sharing materials so everyone gets used. That's why guys like you are so important. Without porters, the whole system falls apart. World, whole world even. Anyway, there's this guy, George Batten. Over at the way station. He used to be a reliable porter, but lately he's been pulling teeth getting him to make even the simplest delivery. Keeps bitching about being scared or not having enough oxy or whatever. Always some excuse. Even when he does agree to make a run, he's liable to lose half of a load en route. So yeah, that's why we are a bit short on materials at the moment. I'm sure you'll soon help us. Put that to rights. We'll, we're counting on you, Sam. And a bunch of thumbs up emojis. George Batten. Sam, this is Sam the man, our savior. Uh, things are looking up here at the way station. Everything feels better somehow. We were all bright eyed and bushy tailed when we set ourselves up, but three years of isolation and loneliness will change anyone's tune. Hell, when we first got here, we were pulling, uh, when we first got here, we were putting up signs for porters and whatnot, but after a while, some guys got too scared and even set foot outside. When Central went up, I told myself this was it, America's done. Everyone was feeling it too. The mood was just bleak. And then you waltzed on in. I know what you're thinking. At first, I thought it was just the oxytocin, too, but that's not it at all. That's not it, not all of it, anyhow. You gave us the glimmer of hope we needed by bringing us the chiral network. We're back, the, back in the game now. Been thinking of putting up signs again, even watchtowers, too. Before long, we'll be opening up new delivery routes. Mark my words. It's still scary out there, though. All the oxy in the world won't help us deal with the mules, let alone BTs. We shit ourselves every time we catch sight of one and end up dropping half of our equipment. Honestly, a part of me is still a little worried that we won't be able to keep it up, and that's why we need you, Sam. We're not scared of, or any. We're not scared. You're not scared of anything, right? So go show us how it's done. Sorry, this letter, this writing is a little small for the distance that I am from the TV, so I'm trying to read it, and um, 
kind of losing my place and it looks a little blurry. Uh, tips? Oh, uh, gosh. I am not... I'm just going to clear those. I'm not reading all of that. I'm not reading all that either. Music player. Play music I've acquired. Oh, I can acquire more music. That's interesting. Sam, we've received a distress call from the distro center staff. Check the order on the delivery terminal as soon as you're ready. I think I have to leave and go to that other terminal. I don't like that I can't move freely around this room. How's it doing at the moment? Uh, the BB? Before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Uh-oh. I hope I didn't skip that. I accidentally hit X. I think I might have skipped it. Like a face. Someone oh, okay. I don't know. Calling to Never me. Never mind. There's this room, too. With other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. What does this actually do? Does this actually, like... Make my BB happier? While you're arresting, I ran some network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? 
Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Okay, recycle. Recycle cargo to produce new materials. Interesting. Um, can I re... Carried on back. Destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. So, I might as well get rid of these, right? Um. Let's see. Um, uh, move to... Recycle. Um, does that do anything? Cargo to recycle. Okay. Uh, that just put that in there for now. Let's see, what else is there? I have the ladder, the ladder, the climbing anchor, and my two boots. One that I'm wearing and one that I have. All right. Materials are now available at Distribution Center west of Capital Knot City. Chiral crystals, resins, and metals. Okay. Uh, share locker, private locker, fabricate. Let's fabricate some ladders and whatnot. Unable to fabricate, a chiral printer interference could not be... Interface could not be detected. Oh. So I need a uh, one of them 3D printer things they mentioned at the site in order to be able to fabricate. Take on orders, orders for Sam, let's see. We got um, Cairo printer interface. Uh, and then what is this? C collection Cairo crystals. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take them both. I don't see why any reason not to take them both. What is happening there? Why is that doing that? Oh, okay, that just happens when I switch. Um, confirm. Crystals required minimum 1 CG. Cairo crystals desired 100 CG. What do I have? Order details. Uh, collect at least one CG of chiral crystals. Distribution center west of Capital Knot. What does that say? Recycle chiral crystals at the distribution center west of Capital Knot City. All right. Supplies. All right. Select. Accept orders. I don't know why. I don't know. I'll have to figure a lot of this shit out. There's a lot here. Schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you. Consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. Um, let's see. What do I have open? I'm going to carry that on my suit. Um... The less on the back, the better, I think. That thing you're holding is a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Oh, that's the thing I can use to pick those up. 
trees surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground. Looks like a hand, just like everything else. Found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. I've seen a few. I mean, I don't know where they are in this area. Beginning scan. Out of pleasant journey. What is this? What are these signs? I don't know what all these signs mean. I'll give him the likes though. Don't mind me. Anybody home? How do I fix this bike? They said something about a battery. Equip HUD, equipment HUD, switching places. Bring up the equipment HUD, press R3 to change pages. When you are carrying too much equipment to be displayed on a single page, you can use R3. I'm still getting used to this. This is just so different than what I'm used to. Sam. What? Cairo crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. Collect and retrieve, okay. Retrieve. BT area west of. I don't want to go to a BT area. Those things scare me. Hello! Hello. This one's for you. Try to put another one down, buddy. Somebody just wanted to be helpful. I'll give him some likes. Thanks for the help. Today's a good day.
Ay, ay, ay. It was useless. I take it back. I want to unlike it now. What was that? so used to in game when you just hit the stop he they just stop but Sam does not just stop there we go number of Cairo crystals in your possession is displayed on the bottom of your cufflinks map blood level BB stress level Number of Cairo crystals in your possession is displayed on the bottom of the Cuff Links map. Oh, 86. Okay, I see. They're all over the place around here. There we go. Nice. There we go. Let me look at my order and see. Wasn't there like a certain amount I needed? Uh, nope. Uh, orders. Um, collection. It says desired crystals 100, and I have 199. Um, collect. Recycle crystals at distribution center west of Capital Knot City. Is that the one that I just left? <laughs> west of Capital Knot City, yeah. That is, okay. Well, I got what I needed. that mission anyway. Let's keep walking. Let's keep walking. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> All right, note to self. Don't do that. Deep water, Sam can't reach the bottom and be swept away. Well, that's good to know. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Sam, remain live. Pyro crystal deliveries are a little different from the usual. The process is pretty simple, though. Access the delivery terminal to drop off any Pyro crystals you're carrying. 
Is that a different terminal? I don't think so. Make delivery. Deliver requested cargo. Wait a minute. Um, make delivery. Not found. Wait a minute. Um, is this not the right place? Recycle at the terminal by selecting delivery terminal recycle. Oh, okay. Duh. Just pay attention, you moron. Talking to myself. Uh, Cairo crystals, 206. You said you wanted a hundred. Yeah, that's right, I got an S. Excess chiral crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Okay, cool. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. I like that. A guard? Macho connection level increased. Did you provide the following new hologram data? To use this data, gain access to the level two or higher structure and select customized structure. Is this like a de development level or something? Okay. Okay. Gosh. Um, all right. <laughs> People think, oh wow, I got a lot of trophies here. People think of you as a porter who can be relied upon for basic orders. But with time and effort, you may one day be recognized as a true legend. Well, maybe. We'll see. Porter Grade 22. Chronic Gamer. Interesting. Okay. Oh, before I forget. This is for you. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Oh. Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Yes, I heard this was Useful a necessity. Stuff you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily available if and when you need it. I like that. I I was 
Um, I saw something on YouTube that said that this was something that should be taken with you. For sure. Because it's, uh, extremely useful. Uh, no, cancel. See, I keep forgetting that I can't just leave the screen. I have to confirm it. Oh no, I skipped what he said. There is a correlation between elevated Corellian levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is, can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Is there anything else I need to do here? Uh, make a delivery. Not found. So how do I find this? I guess I can't, can't do it. There are no orders. All right, well. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Still got work to do, Sam. Let's not keep people waiting. How do I fix the bike? Weapons restrictions lifted. need like a battery or something, right? Okay, hmm. is there a way? I'm sure there is. Um, objective, retrie retrieve the chiral printer interface from the mule post box. And make a delivery to the distribution center west of Capital Knot City. So I gotta go over to the mule that we see there on the map. <coughs> Got to go there, which is 510 meters, and then bring the printer back here so that I can use it to make, make shit. Maybe a battery for that bike. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Weapons restrictions lifted. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. 
purpose of doing mules. Just mash the square. That's the rule. Mash square. <laughs> it literally says repeatedly press square. What is this? Is this somebody else's footprints? That's interesting. I didn't know you could see somebody else's footprints. y'all go. That is how you help somebody out. Uh-oh. Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Oh, they pinged me. Mule drop sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise. That's a great ladder placement right there. How can I tell if somebody else liked my, like if that ladder I left, if somebody else leaves me a like? That's what I want to know. There's a guy there. <sighs> Was I spotted? I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this without fighting. Looks like there's a guy right there.
What is this? Resins. A medium-sized batch of various resins used for use with a Cairo printer. Yeah, let's take that. Large-scale construction. Construction materials used to repair and expand various buildings. Oh boy, I don't want to take too much or else. All right, um, I think that's, that's what I'm going to take for now. Did I get everything? Container spray, Kyle printer interface, lost cargo. Mule boots. Resins, yeah. I'm uh, pretty maxed out. I think that was everything there. Let's see, lost cargo special device. A custom made device built specific purpose. Uh, no, I, I think that uh, I better call it. Man, that dude is oblivious. I just robbed them blind. How that shit is staying on my back, I have no fucking idea. But I'm moving slowly through this area. That's right, walk away, buddy, walk away. Hopefully somebody else will use this ladder in the future. Because I feel like that was a really well-placed ladder on my part. I'm not going to brag or nothing, but... Uh...
deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. <laughs> After some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies who get off on hijacking shipments. Sounds like General Amazon. Always on the lookout for the next border. With Make their sure drone delivery out. service. Jesus Christ. I literally, when I have this much stuff, I literally just hold down the L2 and R2 at the same time. Because he has a lot less likely of falling. But it does use a lot of stamina, but... That's what your monster energy is for. Maybe I can fabricate a battery, fix that, uh, that bike. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Make a delivery. Um, okay. I'm surprised those stupid idiots didn't see me, like, rob them blind when I, they were right there. S rank? I feel like I deserve it. Hell yeah. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Not too well, I imagine, conditions being what they are out there. That's why I stole some. It ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities. New interview data acquired necrosis and the ancient Egyptian view of life and death. Two years ago, distribution center west of Capital Knot City, the Chiral Network won. Bridges HQ have been added. Data for new structure to your PCC. I can build a bridge? Ah, oh, shit. Chiral Crystal can now be used at all UCA-affiliated facilities. The amount of materials that can be used at the distribution center west of Capital Lot City has increased. Okay, total play time. What is this? Career statistics. 
Total pieces of cargo, total distance traveled, 13.2 kilometers. What is the blue? Is the blue from when I started playing just now? I don't know. Zero. Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely upon. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive mans with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. Will do. Oh, too new. Uh, build a bridge. I like it. Um, listen to briefing. Hey, Sam. Mind doing me a favor? There's a bridge that needs building. Over a river, just outside that distro center. It's too deep to ford, and we'd like a long-term solution. The foundation's already been laid, and everything required to finish the job should be in storage. All you need to do is carry the remaining materials to the construction area, and use them to complete the bridge. If it turns out there isn't enough there for our needs after all, you'll have to come up with the rest on your own. Uh-oh. I know you've got a lot on your plate right now, but remember, this bridge will make your life easier too. Is that where I almost drown? Now, you've done a fine job expanding the Cairo network. But to make the most of it, we'll need to generate more power. We'll have to make a few hops before we can link up the closest city to. Once this wind farm is part of the Cairo network, we'll be able to route the energy it generates through the beach. Unlike traditional transmission methods, nothing is lost. We can provide power to distant regions and utilize facilities there as electrical substations. You're to deliver a key component. Should be finished printing. Take it to the wind farm and get us in business. Okay. Um, I don't see why not to take both of them, as always. Build a bridge at the destination. Right where I almost drowned. Okay. Yep, let's do it. This order involves a lot of cargo. Completing it on foot may prove difficult. Accept it regardless. Yes. It's not very far. We've added a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation. After which, you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Okay. Um, let's see. What does it say I need? Um...
How does it, how many do I need? This is where I get a little confused. All right, I'm just gonna pick up this one order for now. Or is this the order that I have? All right, hold up, hold up. I'm missing something here. Let's see. Complete the bridge in the designated location. Supplies. Um... Yeah, I don't get it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't get it, but whatever. We'll just keep going. Um, what am I still, what do I still have equipped? Cargo. I still have the repair spray. The mule boots. Okay, what do I do with those? I gotta do something with those. Put on. I don't have anything attached to the boot clip right now anyway, so I might as well put them on, or put them on the boot clip anyway. Um, let's see. What is this? This is the, st this is, these are the resins, right? A medium sized batch of valuable resins for use with a chiral printer. Recycling resins at facilities allows to be used. Okay, um, no cancel, confirm. I gotta recycle some things. <clears throat> Oh, I have two boots on the boot clip. Oh, shit. Okay, cool. How can I tell, though, the condition of my boots? Oh, it's right there. Damage. 56%. I'm going to recycle these as well. Fuck it.
I wearing socks? Look at him wearing socks. What if I tried to walk around like that? I will put these on. Leaving footprints everywhere. Okay, so he said there's a schematic or something. Um, that's what I'm unsure of. Like they said. Did I even pick up? Build a bridge. Complete the bridge in the designated location. Okay, I get that, but... Then it takes me to this screen. What am I supposed to have? Portal Cairo Constructed allows you to build various structures in areas. But what do I do? How do I get past this screen? Is that it? Oh, I'm just I'm just being an idiot, I think. Yeah, I'm totally just being a, a major idiot. Okay. At least I don't have to travel far. Order assigned. Begin and scan. Have a pleasant journey. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Weapons restrictions lifted. Was this even here before? I don't think so. Sam, looks like we found the site. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Well then, that's interesting. Certainly makes things a lot easier. Guild handler. Cool. 
I don't know about all that, but Bravo, Sam. cool. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Now that's just a story-based part. So, I don't think that bridge will be available for everyone to use until they've unlocked it themselves. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. But that's really interesting. All weapons will remain this whole uh, social aspect of this game is very interesting. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Okay, so what do I have with me? Just the basics I need, I think. Okay, I get it now. I was just being a big old doofus before. That's just, hey. That's just saying, hey, um, do you want to, uh, make sure you're ready to go? Has anyone ever carried anything by hand the entire way? That would be pretty crazy, right? Seven hundred and thirty two meters. Oh man, here we go. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Oh no, it's time fall. Is that random? Probably, right? OMG, dude. What are you peeing here for? I'm gonna like it, though. I like your pee. What do you say? How do I pee again? Oh, right here. I'm gonna pee on my new bridge. I guess if you pee on the bridge, the weird mushroom thing doesn't appear.
There we go. Reading mail on your cufflinks. You don't have to go to the private room to read your mail. You can access them via your cufflinks by selecting mail. What up, dude? How's baby doing, Sam? If you manage to over, da 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 No, that just means it's important. Uh, all right, what do you want? Uh, how's BB doing, Sam? I hope you managed to avoid autotoxemia altogether. By the way, I have been wondering, how are your porter grades these days getting better and better? I imagine I, or maybe you don't really care about that stuff. Well, in case you do, I thought I might give you a quick primer since you'd okay. Bridges has developed a unique system to evaluate porter performance and forces on five categories. Cargo condition, delivery volume, speed, bridge link, and miscellaneous. Obviously, the aim is to get high grades in all five categories. If you ask me, though, you should prioritize cargo condition. I mean, what's the point in lugging something halfway across the continent if it's smashed a bit in the process? Sure, some people aren't all that bothered. Some will even let you get away with it up to 50% damage or so, but come on. Imagine if you ordered a dozen thingamajigs and half of them were delivered broken. No, it's definitely better to put condition first. Treat your cargo with care and respect and you will be rewarded with more, way more likes. Trust me. That was my motto when I was a porter. It wasn't always easy. As you can imagine, sometimes things get dicey, but I learned to hang in there and deliver my cargo in one piece. You do well to bear that in mind, Sam. After all, you've got the potential to be way better porter than I ever was. I already am, buddy. I want to be the very best porter that ever was. To lug things is my real test. To deliver them is my cause. I will travel across this land, climbing over rocks, deliver shit, hand in hand, something and I'm done. Lost cargo, destination west of capital, not city. I don't have time for y'all. Maybe on my return journey. Someone who loses his balance, he's able to swing and punch pretty easily. I haven't really had to use combat yet, but I'm sure that's coming. way to get a bike though. I don't know if there is going to be any fast travel in this game so having a vehicle of some kind will really be a good help. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wonder if I should go down and around. Somebody else's pee spot. Over here. There we go. Uh, when containers are damaged, the capacity absorb impacts reduced using container repair spray to restore. Definitely a good idea to make sure you always have Hello! This one's for you. Thanks for the help. Now Benjamin Hancock, isn't he like the dude from the game and not an actual person? <laughs> I'm giving likes to nobody. Um That's what I meant to do. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. You can access the share locker to collect it. Really? power supply unit. Wait a minute. Clean cargo. Collect cargo that has been sent by other players? I 
I don't want that cargo. I don't got time for this. There's too much shit on my back already. Yeah, it's a use. Now, I thought I had... According to this, it looked like I had more. Looks like you've got an empty container there, huh? Feel free to submit junk like that to Bridges. You might not have a use for it, but we do. Okay, I'll pick it back up and give it to y'all. See, it says I have two more container repair sprays with me. So why don't I see them when I do this? Oh, there it is. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot, as we already knew. Um, okay, I'll pick this back up, I guess, and uh, donate it when I get where I'm going. Strong wind will make movements trickier, also deplete stamina more quickly. Well, that settles that. A living organism is not seen before the death stranding. Consuming a symbiote or cryptobiote or whatever the fuck that says. It's too too far away for me to read. Something. It said something. world is pretty interesting. I wonder if there are, when the further along I get, the more likely, or if, if the, um, landscape will change a little bit from, like, this forest to something else. Don't know. I use the rope here.
You're welcome, future. Uh-oh. The fuck was that? I tell you, this game freaks me out sometimes. Ah, oh, shit. I fucking hate this. Oh my god!
Oh my fuck. I hate it. I hate it! Okay, so... Let me see if I can use that spray before I go in there. Curious to know what the fuck is happened to this world. Okay, so I've used um, all of my container spray. It looks like. Um, hmm. The power supply unit, though, should be intact, which is what I'm bringing, I believe. What's my mission again? Power supply unit delivery. Okay, yeah, so at least I got it there with zero damage, even though it cost me all of my spray. So I'll have to see if I can make more. Delivering cargo. Thank you. With this unit, we should be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other places too, if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? Incredible. How'd you get this here? You fly? S? At least an A. Hell yeah. Cost me all of my shit though. And it didn't protect anything else that I have. Those are all rusted. Is this just... Since the last time that I... I delivered something? Is, is the blue... I don't. I don't know. I, that's what I'm guessing. All I don't know. Now is a connection to the chiral network. Go for it. Source and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level, the bandwidth available to you will increase as well. Well, damn.
New strand established. Okay, cool. About time we did our part. Thanks again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was wiped out. Makes what you're doing all the more incredible. You're a one-man expedition. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she made it to Edgenaut City yet. It was her that put us in charge of the wind farm. I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. She's on the I beach, buddy. Never met her in person. But it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her, feel free to tell her I said so, huh? Sam, got a moment? I, I ran guess. An experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observe reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon, and when it is, We'd like you to test it. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We've almost got the whole region on the Cairo network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. All right, will do. Um, New order available. Is that why we pee Please all over the place? The bodily fluids can repel? So if I pee in an area, it's less likely to be overrun by BTs? Is that what they're telling me here? Capital Knot City. OMG. Look at how fucking far away that shit is. Hey. Great work. That wind farm you've brought into the network is essential for our continued expansion. By way of reward, I've added a little something to your PCC. A generator option. Generators recharge the batteries of all nearby devices. That includes machines, bikes, and other battery-powered vehicles. Cool. Wind power generator capable of charging vehicle. I own three? I need to recycle them. Let me recycle them first. By handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase the amount stored on site. Now these materials can then be used later for equipment fabrication and so forth. Just remember that each facility has separate stores and that the amount on hand differs from site to site. Don't get carried away. Damn, the container damage is terrible on some of these. I might have to make some just to fix the container damage. Thank you. 
Okay, let's see. Uh, fabricate. This costs... Eight resins. And 16 chiral crystals. I'm fucking making a shit ton of these. Attached to suit. Hang on, tool rack. I'm gonna put some of these in the storage, obviously. But I, I don't think I can just do that. I maybe can, but I don't know. Um, private locker. Actually, let me use it on what I have currently. Thank you for your contribution. How do I use it on my on my stuff? Now, can I fix this with the... Is that doing anything? I don't know if that's actually doing anything. I don't think that does shit. Maybe it doesn't matter? I don't know. 
But I'm not wasting any more of those right now. Private locker. Let's put some of these bitches in there. Okay, we got one. Two, three. What are these? Oh, I'm taking them. I don't know why I did that, but, um, okay. Let's see, I got just container spray. Take on orders, what do we got here? Congrats, Sam. You're cleared to take on open orders. While they're not as high priority as the ones specifically assigned to you, if you're already heading a certain way and you have room to spare, it couldn't hurt to do a little more, right? Well, we'll see. Just because they're not mission critical doesn't mean they're not important to someone. Uh, so we'll see. Do a good deed or two? Maybe if I have a bike or something, we could do more of those, but I don't think, uh... Okay, um... Written delivery, distribution center west of Capital Knot City. Standard order. Sam, double check the order summary. Delivery medals, delivery medals. Do I get, does this show rewards or something? What do I get for this? I don't know if this shows rewards anywhere, but I don't know. I don't know about those. I might do those, but might not. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to see how I feel. Um, let's rearrange the stuff Thank that I have. Contribution. Let's see. I got ladder. Let's put that on the tool rack. Um, container repair spray. Let's uh, put that on the tool rack. Can I only put one thing on the tool rack? I guess. Yeah, it looks like that's all I can do. Okay. Um, let's put... You 
on suit. Wait a minute, I thought I had more than this. I thought I had more than that with me. I guess I put more in the locker than I anticipated. I want to take two more of these out. Alright, we'll carry them on back for now. That seems a lot more doable. Maybe on the back I'll be able to repair these things. I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Also, I don't think I need this many PCCs. I'm gonna put some of them away too. I don't know if that even did anything. Okay, um... Thank you for your contribution. Oh yeah, I wanted to put away the PCCs. Private locker. I guess, like, I don't know if you can repair these. Oh, wait. I see. Damage and container damage are two different things. Ah, uh, okay. How many container repair sprays do I have with me? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Where is the ladder? Ladder is where? Put the ladder on my tool rack. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Can I rearrange where these fit? Oh, are my boots almost destroyed? Oh, I'm not wearing boots. How did that happen? Um... I don't get it. How did I lose my boots? Did they fall off when I was running? Can I make some? Yeah. Okay, equipped boots, no damage on boot clip, boots, no damage. Does time fall only affect containers then? That's what I'm thinking. Or maybe it doesn't. I don't know, because it's affecting the PCCs. Alright, whatever. Okay, then I think I'm ready to pick up a another um, Another Delivery next time because this is uh, been two hours already and I've been having a lot of fun But it is now getting late and I have to get ready for work. So um, I enjoy playing this as always and if you are watching this I appreciate you uh, smash that like and uh, let me know what you think in the comment section and I will catch you all later with the next Death Stranding episode.